Many times people think that I am a quiet and nice person, <laughs> but sometimes I am not, really. Sometimes I really get mad, <laughs> really mad. Happens one or twice here on the shipyard that was I'm, I was so mad that I, that I took the... I took Friday, but not that I show you, it's a bigger one, really bigger one. And walks in the shipyard, screaming like a mad person, completely crazy. Alvini have 14 acrylic portholes on the hull. It's fixed portholes, means uh, doesn't open and doesn't move. That is the old one. You can see it was very bad to see through the porthole because that is the original porthole of the boat. Means they was installed back in 1982 or 83 and never touched again no maintenance some all of them was cracked uh, with uh, cracks on the acrylic because the the sunlight the uv sunlight the uv sunlight changed the composition and the acrylic and get cracks we have two options. First one, change to uh, acrylic one as the same that we have here, but we have a big problem here because acrylic in Brazil is not good quality. We have no good quality in acrylics here. Acrylics here in the sunlight uh, will crack in about uh, three months, oh. more or less. I don't want that, uh, really, uh, it's uh, too much work <laughs> to, <laughs> to crack in three months. <laughs> we have another option, it's polycarbonate. Here we have uh, some good, very good quality of polycarbonate, it's double UV protection, 10 years warranty, means it's a good quality and it's a very good option but the polycarbonate is easy to scratch uh, anything can damage the surface but the year that we decided to do that uh, 2018 we made the decision 2018 they launched a new product it's a polycarbonate double uv protection and scratch protection that is a perfect option e aí fiz perigo Back in 2015, when we bought the Vini 1, we met a couple, Rafa and Alini. He had many interesting and really funny equipments and a knowledge, and a great knowledge. One of the things that we did in Alvini 1 is change the acrylic on the hatches. And I talked with Rafa 
and Hafa told me, well, I'm changing the acrylics of my boat. I'm changing with high technology. I have a, a 3D scanner that I can take the acrylic, I can take the aluminum support and scan that to have the right drawing on the software, make the right project, and then I can do a laser cut that is really precise. He did in his boat that time and I asked him to do for me the two hatches that we had on Alvini 1. The acrylic on the hatches was fixed with screws and Sika to seal. He told me, well, I'm doing without the screws. I'm using a chemical fixation. Uh, he called this a chemical fixation. It's a special adhesive that can glue harder than a screw. This adhesive is the same that many components use in the big glass windows on the big buildings without screws. I'm talking about 300 kilograms of um, glass and it's fixed just with a uh, strong adhesive and works very well. Well, it's amazing how strong is it. Then, seek a flex to seal the, the hatchet. But that was acrylic. And as we don't have really good acrylic here, in about six months, I had some crackers on the acrylic. Fred, can you tell me exactly what happened? Um, no. I don't have the right tools to do this kind of job. And skills, to be honest. I'm able to do, yes, but not with the quality that I want. I know people that do a job much better and beautiful than me. And with that, I have free time to work with other things that I can do better than this kind of job. Me and you talk a lot about the decision. What do about the portals? First, I call and talk with Hafa and ask his opinion. He told me, well, the best thing is polycarbonate. Just so you have an idea, the madness of these materials, acrylic is 10 times more stronger than glass and 8% more transparent than glass. But polycarbonate is 40 times stronger than acrylic and polycarbonate is used for bulletproof equipment. Well, this video is really too boring and because that I will do a crash test because I want. My God, friend, do this right! Why I did that? It's just because I love to break things. <laughs> it's really funny. Or burn. I like to burn things too. Okay, Hafa, how much will cost that? And he told me, well, you are my friend. Buy the acrylic. Tell that you are buying for me. That they will do a better price for you. And I can do the job. Really, Hafa? I, I asked him. Yeah, well, I help you and you can help me. Hafa told me my plan is go to Gorja and do a bottle painting. You can help me on that. Yes, 
I can do that. <laughs> we bought jobs. Friends is for, for that, right? <laughs> Thank you, Rafa and Alini. I remove one of the portholes and I give to Rafa because uh, with this he was able to scan that and make a 3D model with that. We bought the polycarbonate sent to him. He cuts in the 3D laser machine, sand, painting, everything that he needs to do. Rafa made the decision to come here. I don't remember exactly the month, about uh, I think September. We send the who to paint the, the to do the bottom painting, and we find some problems. Osmosis. I did the treatment. It's pretty simple. You need to do the right way, but it's simple. It's basic it's sand. If it's small, you can see uh, humidity, a little bit water around. If it's bigger, you can see the bobo. And if you see the bobo, you need sand up to the point that you open this bobo. Wash the hoo many times for many days. Wait to dry. If it's uh, a small bubble or a small osmosis, it's just do a epoxy painting. And if it's a little bit bigger, fiberglass with epoxy. But in one point, the osmosis was really, really big. Big enough to make a hole on the bowl about this size. I did a fiberglass, fiber epoxy. I made reinforcements in outside and, and inside. Bottom painting, other things that he needs to do, and was done. here on the shipyard that was I'm I was so mad that I, that I took the I took Friday and walks in the shipyard is screaming completely crazy here I don't know why sometimes some things just get legs and walks through this shipyard and sometimes they run out and I didn't find anymore. And that's why I sometimes get mad. Well, it's not just that. <laughs> sometimes I'm working here and they cut the energy. My energy just gone. I need go out. I have a 
huge stair to to go down for the shipyard to find out what happened. And many times the people just remove my my cable, my my energy cable, or the people get my my stuffs here uh, around the boat on the shipyard because they want it. Just took to use for something else. Wood, uh, stainless steel. Happens uh, sometimes that uh, I was really, really mad and took the hammer, <laughs> Mr. Friday, and walks in the shipyard screaming like a mad person. I will not crack the head of this bullhead. I will crack the boat that we are working in. <laughs> screaming <laughs> as a mad person. Well, work it. Uh, for the last uh, two years, no one touched anything around here. Nothing. Because they think that I am really a mad person. <laughs> I am. <laughs> really. I am here, first hand, with a witness to the events. Fred, tell me, how did it all happened. My God.
Working on Hafa's boat, we talk a lot about valves, and we made a long research about that. And the first thing, I'm breaking some things on the yard, on the shipyard. It's part of the experience that we did to make a decision about the valves, but uh, that is something for another episode. Some people ask how we can do the job in a week, and that's one of the ways. We work through the day, and at night, I'm, I, I wake up about uh, 2.30 of the morning, and I'm here in editing videos. Look here. The good thing is really quiet. <laughs> It's, it's good to work this time because it's quiet and it's not so hot. Then it's nice. Try to do some order on on the atelier to do a campaign. Campaign. Help me to bring you back to work on the boat. <laughs> 